Whoa, feeding time? Feeding time! Yes, once again it is that video and as you can read from the title, in this video I will feature all of my Brachypelma species. Most of them I feature regularly in other feeding videos with random species, but I never did one single video that will feature all of them and as you can see I have quite a lot of those. Plus three adult females are in their glass enclosures, but we will feed them the last. As usual with this type of videos, we are going to start with the smallest tarantulas, two small brachypelma slings, and then slowly we are going to progress into bigger and bigger specimens. Oh joy. And in fact, I have majority of species and I think that I only lack like three or four maybe that are available in the hobby. But I'm not certain on that number. Maybe someone who knows which are all of the available brachypelmas inside of the hobby, maybe can tell me which exact species I'm missing. I would appreciate that. And as you're watching this video, I'm finally returning from my US trip, probably on a plane at this very moment. So these last four videos were pre-recorded and now we are going back to a schedule, schedule videos, regular schedule videos. You can expect some cool unboxing soon. Now let's get down to business. First tarantula that we will feature here, it is this small sling Brachypelma Emilia. Let me see if I can zoom it. Yes I can, there she is and in fact she is a bit too big for this enclosure so in next rehouse video she will get new house. Let's give her one roach. As usual today on the menu lateralis roaches and I'll mix it with dubia roaches for bigger females. Let's do this. Pop. No, the roach is like hell no. You bastard! I almost... I, can you like stop? I almost lost him. Let's do it again. Second attempt. But she doesn't want to take it. Oh no! We need to have a good start. What are you doing? Oh no! Oh! No! She didn't take it. This is so uncool bro. Let's see if the other sling will take it. This one is Brachypelma Vagans. And she is... As you see she made a hole. And here is where she is. So... Let's try it. Get it. <laughs> no! You also don't want to take it. What is this? Come on, please don't do this to me. Please! Oh, my luck! And now this roach is too small for the other tarantulas. So I'll just drop it in some other enclosure. I don't want to waste it because I already pressed him a bit. He will not survive long. Now with this embarrassing start, let's try to salvage it with some normal sized tarantulas. First one is Brachypelma Kallenbergi, but she is inside of her hide. You see just one leg down there. I will try to lure her out, but I'm not sure if that will work considering how this video started. So a little bit of fishing. Hey, hey, are you hungry? Oh, yeah, she's hungry. <laughs> let's get her around. Now it's the real deal. Get it. Really? And she took it down. Did she took it down? No, she did not. Oh, never mind. Yes, she did. Why I did that? We could have had such a nice feeding clip. You need to be more precise and now your, your house is wrecked. You kind of blew it. But okay, at least some sort of a feeding clip. Not a complete waste. Let me fix you your house. And you can take a good look at her now. Brachypelma Kallenbergi young female. From now on, majority are females. We have just a few males. And the next female is Brachypelma baunganterni. But I think that maybe she's in a pre-molt. You see that thick abdomen down there. It looks full, right? But let's find out. <laughs> yeah. Take one good look and let's carry on to the next tarantula. And that will be a really pretty one. This is Brachypelma auratum. Look how pretty she is. Oh, and bolty. Very bolty. But her abdomen is also sizable. But hopefully that won't stop her. Yep, she's hungry. The roach is coming and it's down. She got it. Got it good. Second successful feeding clip. We are on the roll. This is also one pretty Brachypelma albiceps. And for her we have one adult lateralis male roach. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. That was a nice takedown. 
Holy moly! I even think she rolled on her back. I need to check it out later in the video when I will edit it. But it was a good one, a good takedown. Here we have another small one. And this is Brahipelma, Brahipelma class, yes. But I also believe that she's in a pre-mold, not sure, because I think she refused to eat last time. But of course, maybe I'm wrong, so we will try it anyway. With one small Ateranus roach. Like this one, for example. Let's see. Yeah. It looks like I was right. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. I understand. <laughs> so that means she is not in the mood. We are done with this first bigger stack. And we are moving into this smaller stack. You see it says Brachypelma Hamori. This is Brachypelma Hamori stack. This one is female and she is surrounded by three males. Although they still aren't adult. Hopefully they are all hungry. Starting with this male. You see these two are similar size. While this one, this is slightly bigger than them. Probably one mold bigger. And I think he's the same size as the female. But I'm not really sure. Feeding time. <laughs> he ran but kind of wrong and almost missed the roach. <laughs> but you got it anyway, so good job. Now next one, but I will close this one. Need one roach? You. No. <laughs> Accidentally do dropped it too soon and down. Yes. They don't disappoint. <laughs> oh. The dance off with the roach. Sweet, 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 but this male got more color. You will see it now. He's definitely slightly prettier. You see? Since he's bigger, he got slightly more color. So maybe a better feeding clip. I'll put it here. And just as my main camera stopped recording. But it doesn't matter, this is more important shot. Oh! Happy dance! Look, a small happy dance, how sweet of you. I just turned it on. Hey, don't go outside with that. But you can continue your happy dance, no worries. Just don't go out. <laughs> He's so sweet. But looks like the happy dance is over. Let's continue with the female. And she is the prettiest, you see. Definitely the prettiest out of four. Mm, mm, mm. Now just give us equally beautiful feeding clip and we will be satisfied. I'm wondering if I put this roach above her, will she reach up for him? Can you feel him maybe? Whoa, holy crap, yes, yes she can. <laughs> oh my god, just as I wanted to say that this isn't working. She grabbed it so hard, so hard, sweet, so we got our really good feeling clip. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh, and she's so pretty. Such a good looking tarantula, isn't she? Oh, yes, yes, happy dancing. She gives us everything, a good looks, a good feeling clip, and also a small happy dance. Let's see that booty work, look at that. Spinnerets going off like crazy. <laughs> this was definitely a good one. And she's still going. Oh, come on, and now the battery died. The live struggle. And also, this camera is low on battery. <laughs> I need to change everything. Now we are done with all of these tarantulas in these smaller boxes and we are moving into these slightly bigger enclosures. Here we also have three males and one female. But they are all different species or form when it comes to these two, Brachypelma opilosum. This one is, you know, the ultimate fluffness. The Brachypelma opilosum Nicaragua male. And he's just one stunning looking guy, at least when it comes to fluff on the legs. The ultimate fluff. The only question is, are you hungry? Camera only focuses on the fluff and not on his face there. Now his eyes are in focus. <laughs> Let's give him roach. One roach for you. Oops, nothing. <laughs> there is an offering for you. Accept it. I think he will. He just needs some time. And the roach needs to start moving like more. Can we get some action? Maybe? Yes? No? 
Come on, Roach, don't make me poke you. Poke, poke, poke. Nothing. It looks like he's not hungry. Pretty boy is not hungry. Well, more for the rest. This is also Brachypelma opulosum, but this one is normal hobby form. You see, he got a bit less fluff, but I think that he got better appetite. We will now find it out. Yes, yes, you see, he is a hungry fella. <laughs> And hopefully a future father, because you know, we pair it and with him. Next, this is the female. She is now the only big female that I have that needs her permanent enclosure. You know, one nice large glass enclosure like the other females are having. Other females got. Yes. She will get it soon, but first she will get one dubia roach. One dubia male roach. Hopefully she will like it. Here it comes. Are you ready? Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa, the cracks! She took it down so hard. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And in case you don't know, this is Tarantula's then favorite Brahipelma. The Brahipelma Emilia. She is cool, but not as cool as some other Brahipelmas, if you ask me. <laughs> and the last one on the table. This is our hero and savior. This is Paul, if you remember him. And of course that you remember him, because he was the hero of one really, really, really nice pairing video where he successfully triumphed and stayed alive. The most important thing. Let's give Paul a roach. Hey Paul, I got something for you. <laughs> he hit the edge. <laughs> I just heard <laughs> With his petty pops, he bumped in the side of the enclosure. <laughs> Enjoy it, Paul. We are now going to check out your girlfriend. Or maybe actually wife. I don't know. For less three girls, we need to go on the other side. You know, here, where the rest of the enclosures are. And here is Paul's girlfriend, but... <laughs> go back, go back, I don't want you to fall, please. She doesn't listen, so I need to... Oh, okay, never mind. Ugh. Pretty sound, right? So we will not feed her because, you see, first of all, her abdomen is huge and she is refusing food. And also she should make an egg sac any time now, or maybe molt, I don't know. Hopefully an egg sac. But that is her, the other Brahipelma Hamori. No, what am I saying? Brahipelma Behmei. Yes. Here to the left, here's Annie. But she blocked off her entrance, so I also don't want to disturb her because she is parrot, as I said, with that mail that we fed. So we aren't going to disturb her. You can check the pairing video that I posted recently if you want to see her. So that leads us to the final, the last Brahipelma that we have here inside of the dark den. And you see she webbed up the front of the enclosure. I don't know what is up with that, but we are going to remove it because I don't like it. She got the whole enclosure for webbing and she needs to web the front side. Although I can see that she webbed there. This this is Brahipelma Vagans and she is one of the prettiest Brahipelmas if you ask me. Along with Brahipelma albiceps. I'm not certain between those two. And that is considering the Brahipelmas that I have because I haven't seen how the other Brahipelmas look in person. So let's end this video with nice feeling clip. Pretty please? <laughs> I'm going to grab one dubia. In last feeding video she gave us really nice feeding clips, so let's see if we can get it again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there is no escape from her. Oh, can you hear the cracks? Sweet, this is a nice ender. Check the spinnerets. But no happy dance action, no spinneret action. Those eyes right there. I don't know why torrential eyes are funny in general to me. But yeah, that would be everything. I'm pretty satisfied with all the feeding clips. I hope that you are also. If you are, make sure to thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye. -bye.